Oh my god, my man Joss by Jay just posted this drop list so freaking early and I'm pretty sure this is everything. There's a lot of items dropping this week, but if I'm being honest, there's really only one thing that I give a f about and that is the beautiful motion logo baby you already know what time it is but anyways let's get to this week's drop list week seven and yes this shirt is a picture of someone fingering a flower the flower obviously represents a vagina <laughs> while the intro music plays i might as well grab a box logo I figured uh, since, you know, there's a pretty iconic Supreme logo dropping, we might as well just wear the most iconic Supreme box logo that Supreme just blatantly stole from Barbara Kruger. And I will not be taking this thing off all week because your boys got to uh, try to inherit some of the good luck from the Supreme gods so that way I can cop this motion logo on Thursday. Literally, as this video was dropping, I was working on a video of these vintage goods that I wanted to show you guys, a little vintage haul. So if you guys want to see a little haul of vintage goods, please take a quick second that like button down below. I recorded a video of me going out in this post-apocalyptic world. I acquired some goods from some friends that picked it up at thrift stores previously. That's really bothering me. Why is one cuffed and one's not? Okay, anyways. And then I showed off some of the other items that I have been acquiring or other vintage grails that I've been acquiring. So if you want to see that, of course, take a quick second, hit that like button down below. And on top of that, if you guys would like to witness a very potential uh, angry, I swear, bro, I swear if I do not get this motion logo on Thursday, I'm going to be hurt. But if you guys would like to witness me trying to live cop the Supreme Motion logo, hit that like button down below as well. And if you guys like content such as this, subscribe and turn on post notifications. But while I am uh, asking you guys to do some things, if you guys can please check out my Instagram, you guys absolutely have been killing it. I think in the last video, I said I was close to 197K and I'm already like halfway to 198,000. So we are well on the way to 200K on Instagram, baby. A link to my Instagram will be in the description down below, so go support your boy. I'm trying to get to 200K. You guys have been showing a lot of love on the Instagram. I appreciate it, and I have some fit pics of some newer Supreme items that dropped this season coming up. But getting into this week's drop list, like I said, the most hyped item is probably the Supreme Motion logo. I mean, you could say that this week is headlined by the Supreme Vanson collaboration, but let's be honest, nobody gives a fuck about that collaboration when the Motion logo is dropping. The Motion logo is probably one of the most iconic logos from Supreme. It has been used on many goods throughout the years but it was first introduced in 1998. From what I've read the inspiration behind the motion logo is from the title sequence in Goodfellas where it has that exact same font but it is sweeping across the screen. We have seen it used recently and actually we saw some I believe the last items to drop were the varsity jackets with the embroidered uh, motion logo which was pretty fucking sick to see a motion logo embroidered. That being said this is definitely a popular piece and one that a lot of supreme heads will go after. I don't know what the resale will be but you can guarantee that if you get your hands on this piece you will be able to make a little bit of money. So that is definitely the number one piece that I'm sure everyone, including myself, will be going for. And it will probably be just as hard, if not harder to cop than box logos, because I'm not quite sure if they will make as many as they do with box logos, but it's definitely gonna be fucked. And if you guys are familiar with the Supreme website this season, it has literally been cancer. It's been literal fucking AIDS. Like it's the worst. I don't understand how Supreme has such a shit website. Are you serious? I understand Carlisle Group purchased you. So like, please Carlisle Group, give Supreme some money. Do something with these guys so they can fix their fucking site. Like you guys are already fucking the brand up so hard. So you guys might as well just like try to help them fix their trash website. As for colors, I'm not quite sure which colorway I'm gonna go for. I might do a poll on my Instagram, but my plan overall is to go for one of the least hyped colors. I would like that yellow. I think that yellow is by far the sickest color, but that one's gonna be hard to get. That black one's gonna be hard to get. Like those are gonna be like the main hitters and I feel like there's just no way I am gonna be able to get those. Oh, that purple's gonna hit. That red's gonna, bro, the, a lot of these colors are gonna hit. The only, I don't even know what color I'm gonna go for because I feel like every color is gonna hit. I mean, maybe like the green or gray might be a little bit less hype, but like, damn, these colors are, that purple is gonna go crazy. Now, moving on to some other pieces that we wanna discuss, this Supreme Vanson collaboration. This might not be as expensive as previous Vanson collaborations. That being said, it might be just as expensive. I don't know. A lot of people are estimating that this may not be as expensive because Vanson is known for their leather goods. This jacket is, however, a nylon jacket with leather sewn on patches. I believe it has leather accents around the collar as well, but a lot of people are assuming that it won't be as expensive for that reason. I'm not quite sure. I do think this is a, I don't know, it's one of the better Supreme Vanson collaborations, but I still, I don't, I don't know, man. All the letters like randomly placed, I guess you could probably do something cool with this. It looks like some crazy note from some serial killer or like the Riddler from Batman, or maybe, you know, those letters when you put them on your fridge, those like magnetic letters where they're all like randomly strewn about. And then you'll go like do something and then like some kid will come visit your house and then just f 
all your letters up and everything you spelled. Or maybe you put like vagina on your fridge and some kid just randomly comes and messes up your beautiful work of art. Basically, this is what that looks like. Now, some of you guys might have gotten a little chubby, a little semi, a little hard on when I told you guys that this was made of nylon because maybe you were like interested like, oh sick, it's made of nylon. Maybe I'll go cop the bag. Psych! The bag is made of leather. So you know that bag is going to be dumb expensive regardless. There's no hope of that being a lower price. Like with the jacket, we, we kind of assume that maybe potentially Supreme will bless us and like give us a reasonably priced jacket. Uh, yeah, that bag's gonna be super expensive. The bag is actually all cowhide leather. The letters are all leather. So um, yeah, basically what I'm trying to tell you is that these items are for individuals that drive Lamborghinis. Speaking of Lamborghinis, oh my God, I cannot believe that collaboration was reselling. Which is really funny because nobody was saying that collaboration is reselling, but the moment it started reselling, random commenters on the internet was like, bro, I fucking, I fucking knew it, bro. I still think that collaboration is garbage, but that is definitely one I was wrong about. Moving on, we have these Supreme tops and bottoms. You have this like alarm clock print going all the way down the side. It's a nylon, like water resistant nylon material. It's a track bottom and track top or jacket. This is fucking ugly. This is absolutely disgusting. These are one of those pieces that I just do not like at all. I think it's kind of cool that the graphic goes onto the hood, but overall, I do not really like this piece. Extremely simple. The colors are all trash, uh, or at least I don't like the colors with those particular pieces. The print is 3M. Woo! How fucking cool. Now, one piece that I actually kind of like, I just, once again, I feel like this would be better on a chino pant and a jacket, or even a chino pant and a hoodie still, but this, uh, like these, the animal's hoodie and animal sweatpants. The artwork is done by Keegan Dakar. I might be saying that incorrectly. I looked up some of his art and his art is actually really dope. These sweatpants are so sick and I really wish these were chinos. They just have this stripe going down of this individual's artwork. And then of course, in this really sick font, it says Supreme going down the side. Like if this was a chino pant, I would be so gassed and for sure I would be copying this. But because it's a sweatpant, I think I'm going to pass. I do kind of like this gray marl with the purple print color. That is by far my favorite. I am also really curious to see how they did the graphics on the ribbing because if you look, it has graphics going all around the ribbing and the cuffs and all that. So I'm wondering if these graphics are actually a part of the fabric because if it's printed on the ribbing, like as the ribbing stretches, the print will also stretch and kind of like come apart. And then of course it has that Supreme graphic on the hood as well. So I like the hood print. I think these pieces are dope. I just really wish the pants were not sweatpants because Supreme sweatpants fit like dog shit and I already copped a pair of Supreme sweatpants from the Ramelzi collaboration which I also wish was a chino pant like come on Supreme stop giving me all these fire pants and sweatpants I'm trying not to look homeless in 2020 I mean shit I'm the exact opposite of homeless like I'm outsideless I can't even go outside right now but I want to at least feel like I'm getting ready to go do something instead of just chilling in my sweats all day like I'm doing right now. I love sweatpants, trust me, don't get me wrong, but I wear sweatpants way too much and I do not need a brand encouraging me to consistently look like I'm having a midlife crisis and I'm just never ever getting out of sweatpants. Uh, we also have this watercolor painted Supreme shirt. I I mean, I don't, I mean, maybe this white one, the colors look kind of cool. I don't really understand the placement of the letters. Like I'm so extremely confused looking at this piece. It's a premium tee, which means once again, it's gonna be like $80. And if you guys are not new to this channel, you guys know I stay complaining about these premium tee prices after taxes is literally going to be a hundred dollar t-shirt i feel like there are so many things i would rather spend a hundred dollars on like a pornhub subscription i feel like that would give me pornhub premium for a whole year and i would get a lot more use out of that than this weak ass t-shirt that looks like it was painted by a three-year-old now some of the other premium tees that are dropping aren't nearly as bad but i'm still not a fan you have this mesh tee with this gradient logo i'm not really worried about this at all this is a pass for me and not one that i really recommend copying for resale there is this inertia tee i think this piece is dope you have this like supreme varsity logo Logo that has been used many times. It's probably one of my least favorite logos, which is weird because I like the ARC logo and a lot of other um, Supreme logos they use. It's not a bad logo and I actually like some of these colorways, like that yellow and baby blue color is actually pretty fucking sick. The other colors are actually trash, but that, whew, that yellow one is sexy. Hey, the homie Spam just messaged me and said the hoodies were comfortable. For those of you guys that don't know, I was wearing these Robitussin Poppy hoodies. If you don't know what Robitussin Poppy is, it is a page where I resell a lot of the Supreme goods that I buy. and. 
some of this stuff that I buy this week will end up on Robitussin Poppy. So make sure you follow that. All the Robitussin Poppy hoodies that you guys may have seen with the tag are completely sold out, but definitely follow that account if you guys wanna cop some stuff to resell. Anyways, moving on, one of the items that I definitely plan on getting for Robitussin Poppy are these Motion Logo beanies. They kinda killed it with the headgear this week in general. The Motion Logo beanies, of course, our hitters are definitely pieces I would recommend. It comes in all the exact same colorways, and as I mentioned before, how they embroidered the Motion Logo into the varsity jacket, these are embroidered, of course. The beanies are gonna fit like shit because they're new era beanies and they're not the types of beanies that I personally prefer, but they will still have some resale value. So if you take an L on the hoodie, the next piece I would go for is the beanie. Or if you feel like you are too slow at copying and there's no way in hell you're gonna cop the hoodie, then maybe you wanna go for the beanie just in case. But either way, these are definitely the two items I would go for first. We also have some small box logo beanies. You have these splatter dye beanies. These are actually kind of sick as well and something that I honestly would not mind going for. Like that yellow and red one both look really sick. Once again, these are gonna fit like absolute dog shit because they're not the like thick knitted beanies that I personally like or as Supreme often calls them the loose gauge beanies but um yeah these are definitely going to fit like shit it's gonna fit like you have a broken condom on your fucking head now in terms of hats they are actually dropping some pretty sick hats they're dropping these suede six panels so I'm assuming obviously it says suede it's probably made of a suede material they look really clean these colors they're all tonal look at that like Statue of Liberty green that they have going on that's looking so freaking sexy then of course you have this brown color looks like it came straight out of a dog's asshole but regardless both of those colors are straight gorgeous the other colors are okay, but I really like those neutral tones. Moving on, we have a piece that I'm not really a fan of. We actually have two hats that are complete garbage. You have this wicker basket uh, masterpiece right here that's looking absolutely disgusting. It basically looks like Supreme collaborated with your grandmother. I have no idea why this is cool. I just, I'm not a fan of this material. I feel like they're not going to fit comfortably. And just in general, I'm not a fan of these at all. It's just a way for them to try to release as many box logo camp caps as they possibly can and not do anything creative. And then moving on, you have these right here, which are tank five panels. These are more traditional hats. I don't know if they're snapbacks or not. I believe they are, but these look like hats that I used to actually make by myself. It literally has a supreme patch that says Supreme with a tank and it is just sewn onto the front of this big ass hat. It's gonna fit like older snapbacks. Uh, I'm personally not a fan of it and because the patch is so big and square, it's gonna be even hard if you wanna curve it. So unless you like the traditional fit of these hats, uh, it's not a piece I would go for. And on top of that, we even got some headgear with the accessories. We got the motherfucking Supreme helmet. Now you guys know I love cycling and I am a big advocate of wearing helmets, although I'm not gonna lie to you, I really don't do it myself. But that's because I'm fucking stupid. Do not follow my example. Definitely wear a helmet. That being said, uh, these helmets, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't really worry too much about resale. These are fairly safe items, I feel like, in terms of maintaining their value, but I feel like they might make a lot of these. And it seems like in the past or as of late, we've seen a lot of accessories such as this brick. For example, the Supreme snorkeling set and a ton of other items such as that. It just kind of depends on the retail. So I'm not going to say whether or not these will resell or not until I see the retails. And then I'll let you guys know on my Instagram, the Starlife, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-L-I-F-E. -E. But no matter what, I'll probably try to get one after I go for the motion logos. And I will definitely be trying to get this lighter keychain. I know previous lighter keychains have done fairly well, or I shouldn't say lighter keychains, like lighter necklaces. And those are still fairly popular pieces. So I feel like these will have some popularity. I don't want to say that they're going to have resale or anything because once again a lot of those items sometimes take a little bit to have resale but more than likely these are going to be pretty safe bets to get <laughs> i went to supreme community of course the motion logo is the number one most voted thing the waterproof lighter cases is the third thing the splatter dye beanies are pretty high up there as well and i would say this is one of the few times where in terms of predictions these are all pretty safe bets except i would not worry about getting that intarsia script short sleeve top because i feel like that's definitely not going to resell actually i could be wrong about that i have seen some premium tees resell but it's just not always the safest bet, especially right now with everything going on with Supreme. But what do you guys think of this week? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really curious what you guys think. I'm excited for the motion logos to be dropping because I'm not going to lie to you guys. This week is about to go crazy. And uh, hopefully I can cop because otherwise uh, I'm probably going to break my computer. Like I said, if you guys would like to see a live cop of this video, of course, smash that like button down below. If you guys like these videos and you guys want to see more Supreme previews, Supreme live cops, and just pick up videos in general or videos about clothing, then of course, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep living star and peace the fuck out. Hey, bitch, holla when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.